Welcome to Sunday School for Sunday, March 24th, 2024, for our junior high students, ages 12 to 14. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's memory verse is John chapter 19, verse 3. And said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they smote him with their hands. Our lesson scripture is coming out of Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 5 through 6, Zechariah chapter 6, verses 9 through 14, and John chapter 19, verses 1 through 5. The title of today's story, Enduring It All. Pam was scared when she heard her parents arguing. She had sensed things changing at home over the last few weeks, but she had never heard her father raise his voice. Her mother had tried to fight anywhere else but near Pam. Pam was Pam wasn't naive. She knew they disagreed, but when her father came home angry, they fought in front of her, and it was her mother who launched into things. Not knowing what to do, Pam told them to stop. They ignored her. You're a pastor, Dad, Pam screamed, trying to match their intensity before storming out of the kitchen. After a few minutes, their yelling had quieted down, and Pam heard a knock at her door. She expected her father, but it was her mother who knocked. Come in, Pam said. Her mother inched into the room and sat next to her on the bed. I didn't mean to make you afraid, Mom said. Well, what was I supposed to feel? I don't know. I'm sorry you had to see and hear that. Are you and Daddy breaking up? No. I have a friend whose parents divorced. Charlene. Pam nodded. She only sees her father every two weeks and she doesn't like her mother anymore. That's not the role we're traveling, Pam. How do you know? Me and your father are trusting God. We're not just trusting each other. Well, why fight? There's more to it than I can tell you right now. Her mother said, but you don't need to worry so much over us. Just trust that we're working it out. We're the grown-ups. You didn't act like it just now. Our lesson scripture. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Zechariah 6 verse 9. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Take of them of the captivity, even of Heldai, of Tobijah, and of Jediah, which are come from Babylon, and come thou the same day, and go into the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah. Then take silver and gold, and make crowns, and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, and speak unto him, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne, and he shall be a priest upon his throne, and the counsel of peace shall be between them both. And the crown shall be to Helim, and to Tobijah, and to Jediah, and to him, the son of Zephaniah, for a memorial in the temple of the Lord. John 19. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns, and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe, and said, Hail, King of the Jews! And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again, and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns, in the purple robe, and Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man. A messianic priest king, Jeremiah prophesied about a time in Israel's future when they would be saved. Zechariah's prophecy was similar in spirit, and Jesus embodied those old prophetic words. 
called king by his captors. Jesus was mocked, falsely given homage, and eventually put to death. In John, Jesus approached Pilate, draped in clothes of disrespect and disbelief, but the Savior endured his humiliation. How to Honor the Lord Pray to Jesus using words spoken in the Old Testament. Remember the story of Jesus' death. Accept the truth of Jesus' teaching. Yield and submit to God every day. Enter into worship both privately and publicly. Rely on God, trusting His provision for your life. People tend to lash out at perceived threats to establish power. We do this because it's hard to accept change. How do people form a perception of threat. A voice inside us says that we have something to fear when it comes to bowing our lives to God. The perception of Jesus as a king who would exercise political rule and power made him seem a threat to the existing Roman and Jewish powers. What happened? Jesus in the centuries since his death has been loved by many as the king of kings. Submitting daily. Submission to Jesus as king looks like turning over your life daily. It means that we pray and seek God's guidance, love others, and love ourselves. See if you can submit more of yourself to Jesus this week. Try to pray about a new thing this week, something you either haven't prayed about before or something you've been resistant to praying about. Submit it in prayer to God. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.